Hey everyone, this is Zach Attack Reviews. I'm Zach and I'm kind of excited to talk about the Halo Season 1 streaming on Paramount+. Plus. The finale is out and I can break down the good and the bad. This has been a very divisive series, a very talked about series in a way, but I feel like people are not talking about it at the same time. It's really weird. It's been a bit of like an ebb and flow with this series going on in terms of the, the day, the week to week. Uh, discussions about the show mostly negative because it's adapting something so big so famous and changing so much of it and then there's the other side of it people who don't really know anything about Halo and I see that they're enjoying the show but they don't feel like they can talk about it because Halo fans are coming at them I'm stuck in somewhere in between so I'm gonna work through my thoughts break down the good break down the bad of Halo season one <laughs> Halo Season 1 is a adaptation of one of the biggest games of all time, Halo. Spanning multiple games, spin-off books, there's a lot of lore, but the, the directors and the showrunners and the writers and the creators decided to take from it, cherry pick what they wanted, and create their own timeline, create their own version of the story that they felt was the way to go for the series instead of doing a one-to-one -one from the actual series itself. So with Halo Season 1, it follows Master Chief John and he is tasked with going to this planet that's being attacked. He takes out the co these Covenant aliens who they've been in war with, these scaly lizard-like beings who are looking for this sacred ring so they can wipe out the human race. Master Chief is this cold person who's very robotic in the beginning and he doesn't really care about the civilians or what's going on. He's just trying to take out the Covenant. That is his mission until he finds a piece of the Sacred Ring or the artifact that will lead to the Sacred Ring and it unlocks his memories, his emotions, and he starts becoming aware of the things and the tragedies that's happened to him in his past. So the series follows his journey while also world building with the Dr. Halsey, who's the person that's in charge of the Spartan program, which he's a part of, and this new character they built for the series called Ki Huan, who is was on that same planet that Master Chief was on, but you know she's the last survivor after the Covenant and wiped everybody out. So we follow her journey as well. It's kind of to tell two stories with another character that comes in named Maki towards the middle and end of this series. I'm gonna start with what I like about this series. I'm gonna talk about the good. <laughs> First and foremost, I think the production value of this show is pretty good. You can tell that there was some money put into it. The suits look really good for the Spartans, the weaponry, the explosions, the music is okay, the set pieces are, are, are decent, and the worlds look really well. Uh, thought out and CGI and the VFX look really really good all the outfits and everything looks futuristic and real and it fits the setting that they're in the CGI and the VFX on the actual Covenant soldiers a bit wonky but sometimes they look fantastic as well if it, it's weird because when you get close up it looks really good but when they're far away and they're kind of doing a far away sh action shot it looks video gamey i don't know if that was a artistic choice they try to make to you know try to mimic the game a bit for people who are into the game because they also do this thing where they go inside the helmet of the spartan while they're fighting to look like it's a first person shooter which was cool in the first episode when they did it because i thought that was a nice little wink to the video game lovers. The most fascinating part of the show was John's journey, Master Chief's journey, as he started to erase the indoctrination that he was going through with all the brainwashing he basically had that turned him into his robotic creatures. He started to discover his memories, wanting to learn more, interacting with the artifacts, so he started discovering the things that happened to him as a child while discovering all the other mysteries that's going on with the, the Spartan program and everything like that. I really enjoyed the Pablo Schreiber, I believe his last name is. The actor did a great job with what he was given with, and he, he was a character that I could connect with. And I think that out of everything, the big, you know, problem that a lot of people have with the show is that Bash Chief took off his helmet, period, because he never did it in the games. But I think that the actor really made it worth it because he think he did a great job with the emotional scenes and making me care about him as a person. 
he made Master Chief feel like a leader. He made him feel like someone that cares about humanity. He feel like made him feel like a full-fledged person. And anytime he had interactions with anyone and how he went about it, I really just enjoyed seeing him go through the, each planet and the different places that he had to go to discover the other artifacts and to start like deep, deep diving into his memories and his place of origin while questioning Dr. Halsey, who was supposed to be his kind of surrogate mother who indoctrinated it into the Spartan program in the, to begin with. And my, the second thing that I really liked was Dr. Halsey. I thought that her character arc of that doctor scientist that disconnected, disconnected from humanity, think we're not evolved enough to really go past or get to where we need to go and do whatever she can, even if it's illegal or immoral, to push humanity to a higher evolution. I thought that character arc was explained and fleshed out really well in this show. And the actress that played her did a really good job showing an array of different emotions and trickery and really being very conniving, but also you can see there that she's not doing it with a sinister intent. She really believes she's doing the right thing for humanity, even though it's like the total wrong way. She's like the Thanos of this show, where it's just like, this is insane, this doesn't make any sense, but she believes it's the right thing. Cortana, who the voice actress that reprises her role from the video game, gets a, a go here, but they model her after Dr. Halsey because obviously it was like an instant her and she was there to mo um, to monitor John and make keep him in check and make sure he didn't go awire after he started gaining his emotions. I thought that her arc as this, this obedient AI who was going to do anything Dr. Halsey told her to do to go into this AI that started to you know get caring about humanity, you know, started to get emotions and it was very funny and quippy. I wish we got a little bit more of her. She was used sparingly, and I'm hoping in th this was the Paramount's biggest show, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a season two. Hopefully, we get more of just Cortana and her quippiness and her being on screen more often interacting with John aka Master Chief. I think that she was a highlight of the show and she did a really great job the, the voice actress and the model of the character really bringing that character to life. And Boki Wombine who plays Soren a minor character in the Halo lore but a bigger character here. I really like that he got this big he's been around for so long and I'm, I really like that he got this big sci-fi action role to be in and he's a very charming charismatic kind of cult leader like guy that works on this rig of people who steal things and stay to themselves they're kind of like space pirates and he used to be in the spartan program but he's one of them that escaped and his arc wasn't really fully fleshed out but what they showed of him i really enjoyed his time on the show anytime he showed up he was either funny or uh, really had action-packed scenes and he really brought a lot of heart to a show that was really cold at times another character i really liked that was a it started as a supporting like villain but became a, like almost a main character was maki she was a human that was part of the covenant she's a completely brand new character for this series and even in the video game there's never any humans that join the covenant because they're trying to erase humans but they try to find a way to create uh these blessed ones and these characters only certain people certain characters that can interact with the artifacts and she was one of them she was on their side she was indoctrinated early quite like john but on the other side so she was kind of a cool mirror of him and when they finally meet I think that it was a really good interaction seeing these two people who were trying to gain freedom from the people who were kind of enslaving them and forcing them to fight this war and seeing how the, they interact with each other and mirror. Her character was very interesting in terms of her pull to like humanity but also serving her masters and I think that the actress did a good job with what she was given with. And there wasn't a lot of action in the show but the action that we did get was done really well and was exciting. The show was a lot more uh, gory and violent than I expected because it's the Halo game even though it's a first person action shooter with guns and laser beams. It's not really gory. Um, so I, I found that surprising, but I guess it made sense. They didn't want to make it feel too cartoony for the live action version. But episode five, which I thought was going to be like a turning point for the series, had some of the best action in a sci-fi show I saw in a while. And I really, really enjoyed it. It was intense. It was well paced. And it really capped off an episode that was really, really entertaining and really, really good and elevated this show a little bit where I was like, this is where the show can be and hopefully can stay at. <laughs> Black 
like I said, I think the actors, the production, the VFX, some the, some of the action scenes were really, really well done. I like the premise of the story, but the script is the biggest problem with this story. They had added too many characters in this show for it to flow really well. The show is its best when John Master Chief past is explored when he's trying to figure out where the artifacts are and where we can lead him to the halo ring and when maki is is doing stuff and interacting with the covenant interacting with john when the spartans are doing things are in, in action those are the and, and and halsey as well those are the best parts of it but a chunk of the show is to dedicate it to like the political side of things with a bunch of characters. There's certain characters that are not needed that could have been cut down and became one character. And I felt like they were there for representation purposes and they didn't use it properly. It felt like a lot of characters just there, just standing there, literally just standing there for no reason, which bogged down the pace, slow down the pace of the show, spending so much time on things that didn't matter to the finale to wrap up this season. And the biggest fault, the biggest one of that is the Kui Kwan character, the actress who played the character. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but she just came off very annoying, very entitled, just nothing likable about her character. And then her story arc and her, 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 what she was doing was not fleshed out really well. And it wasn't at entertaining. Those were like the most boring parts of the show and just took away from the great parts of the show. So it was a brand new character that's not part of the lore that they added to this show that really held the show down. Every time they like would go to her into in the, each episode or even the episodes that were dedicated to her i was just like oh god can we get back to the sci-fi the action and the exploration of the cool parts that we're getting to not what she's doing and it really really hurt when the final episode comes and she's not in it at all i was just my mind was blown i was like so why were we spending so much time with this character the script was just very convoluted and then the, the the dialogue oh my god certain parts of the dialogue was really good and it's mostly when john is talking to the other good actors in the show one-on-one -on -one, or halsey is talking as well they gave those characters really good lines they executed well but sometimes especially in action scenes especially in the last episode they had these spartans saying these really one note corny lines that made me cringe really bad sometimes and i couldn't believe with a show with such high production value with such good concepts and and potential that they just couldn't write dialogue that sounded good and i hope for season two a lot of this iron out focus on the right things and uh, tighten up the writing it's no reason that we have nine episodes of a show hour each and not everything is fleshed out it does it didn't make any sense cut the they need to trim the fat and cut it for season two so yeah i enjoyed the show watching it week to week there were certain the hot the things that i liked i really liked the things that are bad were, were pretty bad i think that for if you're a halo fan if you understand this is a uh, a take a different take on the show you may find something here to enjoy some of the action i think is really reminiscent of the game sometimes and i think the exploration of master chief was really good because we never got that in the video game from what my understanding like i'm i i'm a i'm a gamer but i only played halo like online with friends i never played the story so i can understand if you really wanted that translated this it's it's not that one-to-one -one. they take aspects of it but they really try to do their own thing if you're, you don't you never play the game and almost never heard of it and you just want a cool sci-fi action show with some mystery i think you should give halo a shot i think it has a lot of good in here but it also has some stuff that needs to be fixed if they're going to continue this series so overall i enjoy the series but it has a lot of work to do so i'm going to give it a c let me know in the comments below, what do you thought about Halo Season 1? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my, my reviews, reactions, and more things that I cover. And you can watch more of my content right now.